hello there how's it going on lads i hope everyone is going good as well it's a pretty sunny day for me uh and this video is about the fourth chapter in ar kit flutter uh in my three previous videos so what we learned is in the first chapter uh we gone through the text field with uh, in the placing in the air camera second one with the sphere object and also a tap payment on it and the third chapter is about a custom object in our camera and this is the final uh, sorry this is my fourth one actually so in this video what we're going to learn is about um, how to place an uh, detect a face in our camera so i'm going to place a mask in the whole face itself and additionally i uh, try to put uh, anchors so with the uh, two anchors to detect the uh, eye movement in the form of uh, notes so that uh, when I, whenever the user blinks his eye uh, it's gonna show it up in the camera so that's what uh, we're going to expect so this is what we are expecting actually in the final of this video here we go this is a mm, I placed uh, two uh, notes in the eye so that the user can detect where it's gonna be shaped there so it's pretty easy actually that's what we're going to learn in this video so let's jump to, into it so well uh, I'll be continuing from the code which I did in the third chapter so if you haven't watched my first three chapters uh, I have provided its link in my video description check that because uh, I'm following along and if you have did if you have gone through all those videos and you are here after the third chapter you are good to go now all right so here uh, we are going to do some makeups and make the face recognition over here. All right, so uh, I'm going. I don't want need this AR kit in, uh, uh, reference to internet notice there, but uh, I'm going to remove this and place another note and another two more notes, which is for the eyes as well. So this is a source which I'm using. I'll be providing the source code as well in the video description. So follow me along. All right. Okay. Well, so let's come here. Spaces. All right, so air kit node, air kit node. So these three things. This is a node, and I have a left and a right node. I'm just copying that, and let me go three here. Replace this. All right, and ten. Uh, let me come back here. Then I'm going to uh, make some things over here, which is for the face tracking. So I'm gonna remove the thing which I did for the previous one with this replacing the child from here to this so there's a show feature points as well so we don't need that anymore and instead of the previous one we are using face tracking over here all right and then let me add these two angles which is further add node and also update node anchor uh, let me go there Instead of these two lines, I'm going to paste the one which I've taken from there. Don't worry. After doing the functional things, I will explain you what it is going to do. So, all right. Let me copy all these stuff. Come over here. Let me replace the guy which I did for the third chapter with the one which I copied okay perfect perfect yeah well let me go to the first part this is there uh, this is air kit note uh, as you know the notes we are using it for blazing an anchor on the air camera and uh, what I need is uh, one note for the masking the face and second one for the left and the right eye which is for the same like air kit note and um, inside the body what I'm using is I'm just initiating air kits in view and with the configuration uh, with the face tracking as well and it's gonna create uh, uh, on the created I'm going to call this function so in this function what it does is it's going to initiate the air kit controller in the camera all right then Additionally, what I did is I want to add two anchors and uh, one of the anchor is to add the node for anchor Second one is for the optation because it is a live camera So a object can be moved if my face can or whatever face it is 
uh, detecting can have a move movement all right so in order to update those anchors I'm using the second one okay first one handle the add anchor handle add anchor what it does is it's simply uh, checking the whether the anchor is available or no if if it is if it is already there it will return if it's not it is coming over here and it will going to place a node which is the node which I have initiated in there okay and this node uh, will be a parent node and uh, the another one is for the left eye and the right eye which I am adding over here on the parent node first I'm initiating a parent node with a node name and then I have a left and the right eye which is also adding on top of that parent node so that so where it this nodes have been uh, transformed so that's what in the this line shows about create i here you can say that it's creating an i uh, which is having the position from the transform uh, get column and the material which is uh, using the colors here you can update the color uh, maybe i used as yellow so if i change to green it will show green as well you can change whatever color you would like to be and it will be a shape what is the shape they are asking I'm just using a sphere of this and it is going to return the geometry with the position so here what it does is uh, I'm creating an eye over here and that eye gonna get a position and the material and with the color and uh, the it is going to be sh in the sp shape of sphere then it's returning the sphere and the position all right then uh, next thing is handle update anchor this is the handling the thing which is uh, anchor is in it's inside it's inside the place of mounted okay okay yeah hand the anchor it is about the final phase anchor which is updating the geometry of the left and the right eye transforms I just give an uh, object kind of I uh, blink right and the left this is the blend shapes actually by default all right and then it is uh, updating finally well, which is for the vector positions based on the vector all these things it gonna update uh, the position whenever it's getting moved all right so that's all it does it's pretty easy and simple I hope you understand this uh, so what are the connections let me check so uh, so where we are connecting all these things is uh, here is the left eye and here's the right eye you find there okay and from here yeah actually the node which I'm here is just a AR node and it's going to be the parent node as I said and for the left and the right one I'm just creating so that's what we explain now so it is going to create an eye from here which is for the left and also for the right all right so first I'm creating this and then uh, I'm going to update this as well so that's what uh, it does over here handle update hanger which is uh, going to update so here this is going to update I from here and this is going to get track with the live camera to detect the face correct position and all these things all right so that's all uh, so what we can do is we can just uh, go from from here and go find the X code and let's jump from there you can also directly uh, run from here as well by clicking this one button uh, or else you can in case uh, you can just go through here from here open X code from the finder and uh, you can run it from here this is manually I'm showing there's uh, some shortcuts as well okay and first you need to check is whether you have all the sign-in capabilities ready to go okay so everything is good for me so now it's uh, you can run this and check uh, whether we have done so far so good so here we go there so the material color which I changed to green uh, that's what it's showing there and the whenever I blink the eye it's gonna detect there it's updating the anchors everything else it's very easy project right so that's all in this video glads uh, I hope uh, this video had helped someone else so you in the next chapter we try to make uh, in the air get some beautiful things 
So stay tuned. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.